guys, Mike Gross here at RockinGuitarLessons.com and YouTube.com slash RockinGuitarLessons1. That's extreme with He-Man Woman Hater. And yep, I'm a huge Nuno Bittencourt fan. So let's jump into this. Nothing easy about this riff. Um, standard, no, it's uh, flat tuning. So a half step down. <laughs> think about it before I show you. So open A and second fret D, then the open A by itself, and then middle finger 3A hammer to 4, then an upstroke on the open D. So. Then go up. Go up. Th third finger 4A and pull off to the 3rd fret A, so finger 3 and 2, and then open A, and then 3rd fret E middle finger, palm mute, and then open E, uh, up down, palm mute twice. So. Um, then the next step, 3rd finger 4G, Whole step bend, pinch harmonic with it. So you'll whole, whole step bend, and then 2G after that. That a, the A5 power chord again, open A and 2nd fret D, and he hits a different note, so you'll do the uh, open A, 3rd fret A hammer to 4, and then open on the G this time instead of the D, and he does do that if you listen close in there. Then the rest of it's the same as the first one. 4A, pull off to 3A, pull off to open A. Palm mute 3E, and then up down on the open E palm mute. So we'll go G major. So middle finger 3E, I just mute out the uh, A string, open D, open G, 3rd fret B, 3rd fret E. Then we'll go to a D, or a D2, leave your 3rd finger where you had it and go 1st finger 2G. And so uh, with your thumb mute out the low E, with your 3rd finger you should be muting out the high E. So, and you'll throw a... Uh, uh, fret hand mute and then hit it again. And the next part middle finger 2D, third finger, no, middle finger 5D, third finger 5G. Mute out the in between G string and we're gonna hit D, G, and B. Slide it a whole step up to 7 7. Once you get there, then go up down on it and also. Be Tilt your third finger towards muting out the high E as well. Do an upstroke back on the fifth fret. And then another fret hand mute. And then a, the back to the D2 chord. So that'll be uh, open D, third fret D, fourth fret D. I'm using my middle and third finger. And then first finger 2G twice. And then back to a uh, 3D middle finger, quarter step bend, and then an open D. Then you go back to this 5D 5B that we did earlier, slide it to 7. Okay, um, then so slide to 7, and then up down, and then an upstroke on 5D 5B, and then you start everything over again. Then we'll do this. And there's a little different.
different part. Cool little tricked out riffs that he does, Nuno. What that is is 4D, hammer to 5, and then do an upstroke on the open G, and then 5 on the D, pull off to 4, and then pull off to open. I'm trying to remember if he palm mutes that. Can't remember. Probably. But I'm not sure. So whatever you did on that D and G, you do on the A and D, which is 4A, hammer to 5, open D upstroke, and then 5, pull off to 4, pull off to open. One of my favorites, Nuno. My name is Mike Gross, rockandguitarlessons.com. That's my website coming in July of 2012. YouTube.com slash one is my YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Make requests, comments, and if you have questions, leave it on whatever lesson you're having struggles with on the comment section down there. And your question is probably someone else's, so that's why I'm saying do it that way as opposed to the feed. I'm Mike Gross. Gross. I can't even see my own name. Mike Gross. Signing off, go subscribe, we'll meet you back here.